Sophia. Gee, but I'm glad to see a pal house tricks. What's new? Love thy neighbor. A great deal easier, life will be breezier if you love thy neighbor. Evening, Nobby. Evening, Jacko. Ah, don't shoot! I'm not worth robbing, I've got nothing. Calm down, I'm only cleaning them. Good, aren't they? They're dueling pistols. Who are you going to have a duel with? Nobody. The billion our family is these. I thought I'd hang them up behind the bar. Anyway, what you having? Are you offering or asking? Asking. In that case, I'm waiting. <laughs> Somebody will be in in a minute. Evening, Nobby. Evening, Arthur. I'll have half. You wait till you're asked. <laughs> it's very rude to be presumptuous. I don't know how you've got the nerve. Evening, fellas. Hello, Bill. I'll have a pint. I'll have half. <laughs> hey, look, it's getting very expensive to drink in this club, you know. It doesn't pay to come in here last. Mm. Here he lads. I'll have a brown. I'll have a pint. I'll have a half. <laughs> I'll for a packet of crisps. All right, I'll get them in. <laughs> hey, what have you got in the box, Eddie? It's a present for our lad, Mark. Oh, what is it? It's a do-it-yourself World War II kit. It sounds lethal. Oh, it's very good, Arthur. It's got a trench, 28 soldiers, including six walking wounded, two stretcher cases, four dead, a brain gun, two cat guns, and a miniature atomic explosion. They shouldn't sell things like that. Why not? I don't believe in teaching children war games. I'm a pacifist. Yes, you would be. It says in the Bible, thou shalt not kill. It also says in the Bible, thou shalt not commit adultery. But there's a lot of it about. <laughs> I shot a man once. <laughs> Pardon? I shot a man during the war when I was in the army. Ah, he was only doing your duty, Jacko. Quite right, Arthur. Which battlefield did it happen, Jacko? Alamein, Dieppe, or Burma? Aldershot. <laughs> Aldershot? We were having rifle drill. The sergeant said, higher. I thought he said fire, so I shot him. <laughs> you didn't kill him, did you, Jacko? No, no, it was only a flesh wound. Mind you, he couldn't sit down for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> were you in the forces, Bill? Uh, I was conscripted. Oh, aye. What they put you in? The Black Watch? <laughs> I wasn't in anything. I was a conscientious objector. You mean you were a coward? Look, I'll show you as a coward in a minute. I thought you didn't believe in violence. I don't, but maybe you could convert me. You can't blame Bill for having to carry his convictions. Mm, Eddie can. Yes, I can. If you come over to this country, the least you can do is defend it in a time of war. Look, the war wasn't on when I was called up. It's the principle that counts. If you can't abide by our rules, you can push off back to your own country. Well, that is your answer to everything, isn't it? You and Enoch Powell. Enoch Powell is a right-wing twit. Here, here. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. What do you say, Jacko? What, what's that? We're just talking about Enoch. Oh. He's probably never heard of him. Now, 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 Arthur. I know Jacko's not always with it, but even he must have heard about Enoch. Well, of course I have. There you are, you see. He used to be in Happy Drome. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon? Enoch, we three in Happy Drome, working for the BBC. Rams Bottom and Enoch and me. Not that Enoch. I'm talking about Enoch Powell. No, he wasn't in Happy Drome. <laughs> oh, I give up. Come on, King Kong, you get the round in. Say, I'm talking to you, Sambo. My name is Bill. You're not on about that again, are you? Yes, I am. Look, when you speak to me, call me Billy and say please. Snickers. <laughs> you don't like the way I talk, you can push off. That's just what I'm going to do. Look, I've had enough of you up to here, Eddie Booth. Look, in future, don't speak to me unless I speak to you first. Eh? Don't worry. I shan't talk to you at all. Good. <laughs> You've upset him? Serves him right, the big black twit. <laughs> He's not all that bad. It's all right for you. You don't live with them, surrounded at your house. Well, neither do you. You've only got two of them living next door. And that's two too many. Hi, Bertus. <laughs> Hello. Has the Black Revolution started? <laughs> no, but it might any second. 
Oh, well, Bill, hmm? you know Mr. and Mrs. Joseph and Roy and Vicky were evicted? Yeah, yeah, that is a shame. Look, brother, have you found a place yet? We've got somewhere, uh, temporarily. Good. Where is it? Here. Huh? No, I don't want any arguments. Only for a short time. They won't get in your way. Well, we're at all strain. I'm not objecting. You know. No, look, I don't mind all you staying here till you find somewhere. That's marvellous. One down, one to go. What was that? Eddie. But what on earth has got to do with Eddie? Look, this is our house. Well, if he objected, he could make things awkward. There'd be three families living in one house. So Eddie's got to be buttered up, flattered, made to feel that all black people look up to him and respect him. Mm, how are you going to do that, eh? <laughs> I'm not. You are. What? <laughs> yes, the lunch seats are these. Hey, think it were worth a few bob. Hey, just think, that could have been used by a highwayman. It's very stiff, it won't fire. You've got to cock it. Pardon? <laughs> Put the safety catch off. Oh, I see. Why, <coughs> oh, still won't work. What? what? Pull it harder. Well, I'm pulling it as hard as I can. They're no good. Oh, come here, give it to me, I'll show you how it works. <laughs> no, it was loaded. <laughs> You nearly killed Jacko. Oh, he's oh, me! <laughs> Shall I give him a kiss of life? What was that? Shall I give him a kiss of life? Not likely. He rotted two dozen balloons last Christmas. <laughs> How about a brandy? Good idea. I could just do with a drink. I mean Jacko, not you. Oh, all right, all right. Get him one, get him one. I'll have a... Oh. <laughs> he's back with us. Are you all right, Jacko? Yes, I think I'm all right. Oh. It was such a shock. Hey, you could have blown my brains out. You can't do the impossible, Jacko. <laughs> I better get this away before we do any more damage. Here, I'll be so top for that. Right. Hi, fellas. What are you all having? I thought you weren't talking to us. No, I came to apologise, Eddie. Well, if you think you can sneak it... Pardon? I'm sorry I lost my temper. Are you taking the mickey? Who, me, Eddie? Yes, you, Eddie. No, look, of course not. Look, I came to apologise and to buy you all a drink, huh? I love half. Very kind of you. Come and sit down, Bill. Uh, um, is that all right, Eddie? You don't mind me sitting down here with you? Well, I suppose not, seeing that you're buying the drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Same again, Nobby, and one for yourself. Coming up. Uh, cigarettes, anybody? Not for me, Sambo. Eddie, Eddie! What's the matter with you? You call them Sambo. It's all right. I don't mind. You don't? No, of course not. Why get uptight over a name, eh? That's what I've been trying to tell you since you came to live with us. I mean, you're a nignog, and nignogs are called sambos. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, Eddie. No, I couldn't see that before because of my, uh, inferior intelligence, eh? That's perfectly all right, Billy Boy. I understand. <laughs> I am grateful, Eddie, my old friend. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm going to bring the drinks. Yes. All right, I'll bring them over. Oh, no, 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 Nobby, you are a white man. And white men shouldn't fetch and carry for blacks. <laughs> Do you know, lads, I think that Sambo is finally learning to adjust to our white society. He's acting a bit strange, isn't it? One minute he's got the needle, the next minute he's licking your boots. Perhaps he's after something. No, 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 Jackal. Blackies are not crafty. Here you are, lads. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, Sambo. Cheers. Good help. Good help. Hello, Eddie. Hello, love. What are you doing here? Oh, just popped in to see if everything was all right. Everything is perfect, my love. Eh, Sambo? <laughs> That's right, Eddie. <laughs> Good, you don't mind, then. Mind what? Uh, look, I haven't mentioned it yet. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> haven't mentioned what? Nothing. <laughs> Never mind. It doesn't matter. Look, there's something funny going on here. Now, what is it? Look, you might as well tell him, Joan. <coughs> well, you know Barbie's cousin, Vicky? Well, her and her husband have been evicted. And as they had her parents living with them, well, they were evicted too. Well, you can't expect them to live on the street. So Bill and Barbie have offered to put them up. <laughs> I think I'll have an early night. I think I'll join them. <laughs> you don't mind, do you, Eddie, my old friend? <laughs> don't you old friend me, you two-faced chocolate drop. Eddie! <laughs> All that bit about you being sorry was a load of rubbish. 
So you could get round me? Yes, it was. And I don't mind telling you it made me feel sick. Well, I'll tell you something else that made you feel sick. Eddie. If you take that tribe of knick-knocks into your house, I'll report you for overcrowding and lack of hygiene. Eddie! Look, you watch it, honky. Our relatives are not savages, you know. If they're your relatives, they must be. <laughs> right. Come on. Outside. Outside? Yes, look, no, I have had enough insults from you, Snowflake. And it's about time <laughs> I teach you a lesson. We'll soon see who teaches you a lesson. Now, listen, you two. No, love. Honor must be defended. <laughs> Are you going to fight, him? Eh? Yes, I am. All right, come on, outside. No, 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 no. We're not going to resort to jungle violence. We'll settle this in the traditional English manner. Mm, and what's that? Tomorrow morning, at dawn, <laughs> choose your weapons. Oh, it's you, Vicky. I thought I heard you moving about. I couldn't sleep. Where's Roy? He's in the kitchen making some tea. Do you always get up this early? It's only five o'clock. I told you I couldn't sleep. I'm worried about Bill. What for? Well, it's nearly dawn. In less than half an hour, he and Daddy will be trying to shoot each other. They're going to do nothing of the sort. You mean they've called it off? Not yet, but they will. How do you know? Because in spite of their differences, Bill and Eddie have one thing in common. What's that? Cowardice. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I know they won't go through with it. They'll find some excuse. Yeah. Uh, morning, Hello. Sugar Plum. Hi, Vicky. Hi. <laughs> Keep me up any minute. Ah, oh, hi, Bobby. Bill, you're up early. Well, I want to get down to the common in plenty of time so I could rehearse, no? Ten paces, turn, fire, bang! <laughs> Gee, and another white skin hits the dust. <laughs> you mean you're actually going through with the duo? Of course he is. His honor is at stake. What about his life? Oh, uh, don't worry, Eddie won't even hurt me. He can't be a worse shot than you. Look, I'm not all that bad, you know. You're terrible. Do you remember last year the rifle range at Battersea Fun Fair? You hit the proprietor twice, <laughs> broke two flower vases, and got a teddy bear right between the eyes. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, the sights weren't straight. Roy, tell him to call it off. I, I can't do that. I'm a second. If you don't, Barbie will be his widow. Relax. Nobody going to get hurt. With you and Eddie shooting it out, anybody's likely to get hurt. No way. We're going to use blanks. Blanks? <laughs> That's right. I've done a deal with Jacko. He and Nobby is acting as referees, and I've arranged for Jacko to load both the pistols with blanks for a slight consideration. <laughs> you mean you've bribed him? No, no. Let's just say that we are making a contribution to Jacko's trust fund, the IHH Society. What's IHH? All of a half. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you both find blanks, what's the point in going through with it? Because Eddie doesn't know. He still thinks that he's going to get shot. So I want to see him sweat. <laughs> Eddie, your tea's poured. Come in, love. <laughs> I made you some toast. <laughs> Good heavens. Is something the matter, love? Well, I think there's something the matter with you. What's all that? All what? <laughs> All that. Hold this. This is the Eddie Booth bulletproof vest. The what? Sheet of corrugated iron. <laughs> I thought this was supposed to be a fair deal. Well, you know what they say, love? All's fair in love and war. And this is war. <laughs> Bill's never going to stand for that. Do you think he'll notice? <laughs> Not if he closes his eyes. Ah, well, perhaps you're right. I shall just have to rely on my superior white skills. <laughs> In that case, I'd better get me black coat clean. <laughs> I love you know that when I was in the army, I was known as the regimental crack shot. Sure you don't mean crack pot? <laughs> you're supposed to give me a bit of confidence. Sorry, Eddie. Drink your tea. <laughs> Any minute now, me and Sambo are going to walk down that street and only one of us is going to come back. <laughs> That's true. And there's no reason why it shouldn't be me. None at all. I must make sure your death policies are all paid up. <laughs> Thank you very much. I love you. Ooh. What's the matter? I think it might be a heart attack. <laughs> Oh, yes. No, it, 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 it's nothing serious, love. Don't worry. I'll get over it. Oh. Do you want a bit of toast? You're going to wait till the heart attack's over. <laughs> You're a cruel woman. 
Oh, come off, Ed. You're only looking for an excuse to get out of this stupid duel. How can you say a thing like that? Well, for a start, this is the third heart attack you've had since you got up. <laughs> and during the night, you had two thrombosis, total amnesia, and one of your lungs collapsed. <laughs> you must admit, I went a funny colour. So would I if I'd drunk what you did last night. <laughs> well, you better be going. So soon. It isn't dawn yet, is it? Listen. <laughs> the dawn chorus has started. Yeah, well, well, perhaps I think it's still summertime. We haven't put the clocks back yet. <laughs> it's dawn. Oh, all right. You've got to go. You've got to go. <laughs> At least I'll have died a hero's death for the honour of his country. You can put that in the paper. It'll look good in the obituary column. You're not going to die for anybody's honour. And on my headstone, you can put... Pardon? Look, I'm only telling you this so you don't make a burke of yourself by trying to wriggle out of it. Telling me what? It's been fixed. Fixed? Yes. Arthur phoned while you were upstairs putting your breastplate on. <laughs> He's done a deal with Jacko. Jacko's going to load the pistols with blanks. For a small consideration. <laughs> Good old Jacko! <laughs> Here, five pounds, Jaco. Ta, you have the blanks. <laughs> Don't worry. As soon as Nobby comes with a pistol, I put them in. Here comes Eddie. <coughs> well, Sambo, are you ready to have your head blown off? Are you? Knickers. Cobblers. <laughs> oh, come on, Bill. Don't waste your breath on that honky. <laughs> All right, Jaco? Yes, thank you. Have you got the blanks? Have you got the five, huh? <coughs> that keys. I've got the blanks. And make sure you put the right ones in the guns. Don't worry. I've only brought blanks with me. Are we all present, correct? Well, we're all present. Right. Let's get on with it. Jacko, mm -hmm. load the pistols. Right up. Now, listen. I want a clean jewel. I want no gouging, <laughs> no butting, and no foul language. You'll stand back to back, walk ten paces, turn and fire. Whichever one of you two gets killed will be a juxta with a loser. <laughs> if you both get killed, it's a draw. Jacko, are you loaded? Yes. Good. You stand over there, and I'll referee from this end. Right oh. <coughs> will the seconds clear the shooting area? <coughs> now then. You'll stand back to back. Raise your pistols. On the count of three, you'll commence ten paces, turn and fire. One. Two. Three comes after two. You're half cocked. Pardon? Your pistol. It's not cocked properly. That's funny. What's the matter? Got a blank in it. <laughs> Is it? I'd better check yours. Would you believe it? Another blank? Trust Jacko. He's got the wrong bullets. Ah, well, that's it then. We'd better call it off. Yeah, I suppose we will, huh? No, you won't. <laughs> I've got some spares. Three <laughs> spares? That's right. Yeah, yeah, but these might not be the right bullets for this gun. They're the right ones, all right. I tried one out this morning. I put a bullet through a three-inch thick door. Now then, back to back. Take ten paces, turn and fire. Are you all right? It doesn't look very well to me. Why can't we come back tomorrow? You're not trying to get out of it. No, no, no. Well, pull yourself together, a pair of you. On the count of three. One, two, three. Off you go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
Huh? Well, I said, he's got me. Eddie! No, no. Fair dues. You were a better shot on the day. <laughs> this is it, then. Final wreck. Look, Eddie! Please. I might not have much more time. <laughs> Arthur? Yes, Eddie? Take the news to Joan. Yes, I will. Shouldn't we try and get a doctor? Oh, it's too late. I'm going. Look, you ain't going anywhere, man. The gun never fired. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> the trigger stick. The gun didn't fire? Well, I felt something. It must have been a kick from the gun that knocked you back. <laughs> didn't I hit you, then? Ah. Uh, never went anywhere near me. Where'd you go? Nothing, Nora. What's the matter? Look! <laughs> Shot Jacko? Yes. It was an accident. I don't believe it. You should have seen him, love. Lying there with his sightless eyes staring up at us. Well, where is he now? They've taken his body to the club. <laughs> Eddie? Uh, I don't. I don't. It was a shock to all of us. Yeah. Are you all right, Bill? You look terrible. You better sit down. Thanks. <laughs> Eddie, we took Jacko to the club and laid him out on the billiard table. He'd have appreciated that. Yeah. Then Nobby said, we can all have a drink on the house. And Jacko... Yes. Jacko sat up and said, I'll have a half. Him? Apparently the bullet just missed him and he fainted. <laughs> you mean he's still alive? As alive as he ever was. Thank God for that. Here, here. And what about you two and this stupid feud? Well, love, you know, when I thought I was kicking the bucket, everything became crystal clear and I realised that life's too short for arguments. You're quite right, Billy really, Boy. It's your house. You have who you like living there. Thanks, Eddie. <laughs> I'm glad you feel like that, Eddie. Cos while you two were shooting it out, Barbie and I had a chat. And we reached a similar conclusion. You were right, Eddie. Three families in one house is too much. <laughs> <laughs> so Barbie and Bill are only gonna put up Roy and Vicky. Yeah, well, where's Mr and Mrs Joseph going to stay? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely Nora. <laughs> Love. This is a black day for any booze. <laughs>